And my very special guest on this part of the show is Max Bowden. Hello, Max Bowden. How are you, Bob? Nice to speak to you. You OK? Yeah, I'm very well, mate. I hope you're well. Now, Max Bowden, you'll know from, from uh, EastEnders, uh, Ben in, in EastEnders, but very, very exciting that you're taking part in this new... I heard about this uh, a little while ago. One of the most influential books of the last years, of course, is Birdsong, uh, Sebastian mm. Fultz's best-selling novel about the First World War. Yeah. It's been dramatised, but it's now being done in such a way that you're going to be doing it... Uh, tell us about it. Tell us this, uh, this new version. Well, yeah, as you, as you say, uh, it, it's been dramatised. Um, I was I was part of the touring production in 2015. Um, it's been on the road uh, kind of for the last seven or eight years. Um, and what uh, the great people at Original Theatre have decided to do, now that theatre has become so much less accessible due to, obviously, COVID and, and uh, the climate in which we're all in, they've decided to kind of take it upon themselves to make a virtual version of of their kind of hit show so uh so yeah we've we've all got together and uh on the process of zoom and our phones made a made a made a slightly online version of bird song and i think they've done a tremendous job and it's mixed in with readings from sebastian fox it, it, itself so how difficult is it i mean you're sitting i suppose on zoom you can see people so you're actually yeah. You, you, it must be must be very tricky. It must take a lot of, you know, throwing yourself into it that you're acting with people on on yeah, screen as yeah. well. Yes, essentially. I mean, essentially, it becomes slightly more televised, but but still with the theatrical root. I mean, uh, it it was it was brilliant to kind of put on the uniform again. Uh, my neighbours must think I'm crazy. They looked through the window and saw me uh, <laughs> crawling crawling around the trenches, but. Um, but no, I mean, uh, for us, it was it, the, the Zoom aspect of it was just a feed line, so that we were we were reacting to something in a truthful manner. But but we were doing most of the recording on our phones and then editing through that. So uh, so it's very clever how they've done it, and um, and I hope that we're still we're still staying completely true to the novel. And so, as you say, Sebastian uh, Sebastian has narrated um, the entirety of it. So that's that's a real nice homage to to the origins of the book as well. Mm. And you are you private? You're private tipper, yeah. Yes, young private tipper. Yeah, I'm uh, playing a 15 year old. I had to shave again, which was which was a novice to me. <laughs> so that's who you did on, on the tour, was it? Yes, yeah. So many, many, I mean, many moons ago. So it was it was nice to go back and um, you know I've always had a massive affiliation with Original Theatre and they do tremendous work. So so to be able to work together in these circumstances, you know, coming together at a time of need for everybody was was really lovely. Do you know what's amazing uh, about these times? Uh, there's nothing good about COVID-19 and the pandemic, and it's awful. But I've sat here in my front room uh, in, in North, Lord, uh, North London broadcasting because they sent me yeah. a little box that I plug into my computer. And I've continually been ha having on the show musicians that have come on uh, and bands, four-piece bands that have been putting new material together in different, you know, in different parts of the country, some of them. Because the technology is so incredible, isn't it? Well, that's the thing, and I think I think the arts in general, like, like yourself, Bobby, you know, and and the you know journalism and everything, it has to keep going. We have to keep working towards what 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 we all do. So so the format and the change of being able to make something happen out of nothing is. It, it, I mean, again, for musicians, you know, they're all making you know home studios and still creating the same content, which is which is testament to people's dedication for their art, and um, and I think it's beautiful to see. So what were you doing at lockdown, just before lockdown? What were you about to do? Uh, what, personally? No, no professionally. <laughs> oh, well, I was, I mean, I was still, we were still on, we were still filming at Enders. So, so, um, yeah, it was, it was, it's a big shock to the system when you, when you go from a massive routine in your life and you're in the studios every day. And then, and then uh, one day, you, you know, it's, it's all called off and we're, we're all of a sudden, confined to our homes it was um it was a big shock to the system as i'm sure it was for everybody well i mean quite rightly all the attention is being given to frontline services and how grateful we all are and and that's mm. all that matters but in fact on this show i've spoken to a lot of musicians a lot of actors a lot of comedians obviously and it is quite stunning to be i mean my, my favorite story is still shane shane ritchie bless him who was in the dressing room with full slap on and his tights on about mm. to go and do the opening night of well the, we something about jamie that the music yeah. he does on tour in a big theater 
where they get called down to the stage and he thinks, oh, we go, last minute notes, you don't need that at this time of the day. Half yeah. past six and they're given a, and they're told, uh, yeah, go and get your stuff. You haven't got time to get yeah. your makeup. Just get your stuff. Get out of the building because we're locked down. We're locked down. Now. And that's, that's the thing, Bob. I, sp I spoke to a couple of friends who opened that night. So they had their opening bow and their closing bow within, within one evening. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's, it's, 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 yeah, but it's, you, you laugh, but it's a scary notion, isn't it? And that's, that's the good thing about what, what we're doing here with Birdsong Online is, is we're, we're still trying to keep theatre companies alive and we're, we're raising, uh, we're raising money for the British Legion and it's the 104th anniversary of the song, but ultimately we're keeping theatre going, um, which, uh, you know, now more than ever is, is so vital. Um, and we must, we must keep doing it. Well, you must see the other thing. This is because I've never worked in the, in, in the theatres in the West End, so I didn't understand this. Because I would be, I've interviewed some people, and they said well, we were about to go in the West End and do this thing, and I've said, in, in my ignorance, oh, that's a shame. Still, you know, when this is all over, yeah. You, you, and they're like, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. The, the West End books five years in advance. Yeah, it can do. And if you miss it, your yeah, slot, it it, you know, if you miss your slot, mate, that's it. It's gone. Yeah, well, I mean, hopefully, hopefully there, there will, there'll be some, there's some, some kind of backup um, from this. But, but certainly for a lot of venues and a lot of venues around the UK, not just in the West End, we're, we're going to see a lot of theatres closing if, if we don't all get behind the arts. And, and the West End is not exempt to that. It just, like you say, it's, it's, a, it's a waiting list to get a production in there and it takes a long time. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So as you as you quite rightly mentioned, this is uh, online streaming uh, on the first yeah. of July, twenty twenty, to mark the one hundred and fourth anniversary of the Battle of the Somme. Um, yeah. th you would probably be able to explain better than I can how people get get to watch it. What what do yeah, you do? Sure. So um, I just want to make sure that I don't get my my link wrong. Um, yeah, so, so what we've done is we've set up a website which is www.birdsongonline.co.uk um, yeah. and as I said, uh, the show's being released on the 1st of July um, to commemorate the 104th anniversary of the show and it's, uh, it's active for a 72-hour slot. So um, it's, uh, it's worth watching. You can, you can get early bird tickets now online and you can pre-order tickets. Um, and then you can watch it in the comfort of your own living room whilst having a glass of wine, if you so wish. And it's, uh, I bet it's fantastic because that, do you know what I mean? People find a way, don't they? It's a story that needs telling. It's absolutely right that on the, on the anniversary of the song, somewhere there should be a production mm -hmm. of, of, uh, Birdsong. And if the only way to do it is this, that's the wonderful thing is that creative people get together and somehow make it happen in spite of all the, uh, of all the problems. Uh, absolutely. So we look forward to it. Uh, you do that, and then hopefully when we come out the back of this, uh, life will return to some kind of normal normality for Max Bowden, will it? Well, I, I hope so. I think we're all just looking forward to getting some kind of routine back um, and uh, seeing everybody on the other side. That's the phrase. We'll see you on the other side. Max Bowden, thank you so much. Lovely talking to you.